Despite the fact that there is physical and historical evidence that many people in the past lived long lives, there is a persistent misconception that people typically die by the age of 30 or 40. This misperception may be due to confusion about the difference between individual lifespans and life expectancy. Life expectancy refers to the average number of years of life remaining for people at a specific age. For instance, life expectancy at birth, age zero, is the average length of life for newborns, while life expectancy at age 25 is the average number of years that people can expect to live given that they have reached the age of 25. During the medieval period in England, life expectancy at birth for boys born to landowning families was 31.3 years. However, life expectancy at age 25 for landowners in the time was 25.7 years. This means that people who reached the age of 25 in medieval England could expect to live an average of 25.7 more years, until they were around 50.7 years old. It's important to note that this is an average, so some people would have lived much longer, into their 70s, 80s, and beyond. Life expectancy is a statistical measure that reflects the average lifespan of a population. It takes into account the varied health conditions and behaviors of individuals, ranging from those who die at a young age to those who live over 100 years. However, it is important to note that life expectancy is not a specific prediction or guarantee of an individual's lifespan. One thing that may be overlooked is that low life expectancy at birth for a population often indicates a higher rate of infant mortality. Infant mortality refers to deaths in the first year of life. The infant mortality in the Middle Ages was very high. Since life expectancies are calculated based on the average lifespan of a population, a high number of deaths among young people can lower the overall life expectancy at birth. However, it is important to note that many individuals in these populations who survive infancy and childhood can often expect to live long lives. It is incorrect to view long lifespans as a unique and exceptional characteristic of the present or modern era. Life expectancy varied greatly depending on social class, location, and access to health care. Upper class individuals often had better access to health care and living conditions, which contributed to their longer lifespans. In contrast, lower class individuals and those living in rural areas often had shorter lifespans due to a lack of access to medical care and poorer living conditions. It is also important to recognize that life expectancy was not the same throughout Europe during the Middle Ages. In some regions, life expectancy was higher due to better living conditions and access to health care, while in other regions it was lower due to factors such as wars, famines, and epidemics. These events had a significant impact on the overall health and well-being of the population and contributed to shorter lifespans. Despite these challenges, the Middle Ages saw significant advancements in health care and medicine. The development of hospitals and the introduction of new medical knowledge and practices helped to improve the health and well-being of the population. In addition, the rise of cities during this period led to improved sanitation and living conditions, which also contributed to longer lifespans. This can help us feel more connected to our history and understand that people in different time periods may have had more in common with us than we initially thought. For example, you might imagine multi-generational households in the past, with grandparents from Neolithic China or Medieval England playing with their grandchildren and sharing stories of their own childhoods. These shared experiences, despite the significant time and cultural differences, show that people throughout history have shared similar experiences and emotions. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and join us in the next video.